friends, it's me, Wickedy, and let's get right into the game. All right, we are on the 25th day of spring, and overnight we heard the noise that we finished something in the journal, which means um, the coop should be done. Yes, and we are going to buy some chickens. Uh, what is it, Thursday? Marnie should be open today, which is awesome. Our weather today or tomorrow is light and breezy. And our luck, good humor. All right, not bad. Living off the land, fruit trees. Ooh, yeah, I need to get some money so I can buy that apple tree. Hmm. At least by the middle of summer. Got some strawberries to harvest and mail. Oh, right, we're friends with Shane now and he sent us some pepper poppers, which could be super helpful later. And we'll probably save that for when I need to have a boost to my farming skill. It's gonna help us with our watering can and hose taking less energy, so that'll be probably pretty helpful on the first day of summer. All right, I'm going to pick these strawberries and water our crops, well, some of them, at least the parsnips. These are gonna be the last time we're gonna be picking these strawberries because they're not gonna come back again. The only ones that we'll be able to harvest again are the 20 that we put that speed grow on. So honestly, there isn't any point in watering these plants anymore. I want to build a tapper for that full grown tree over in my tabby section. <laughs> and um, we need wood though. So I have to pick up my ax today. Anyways, I'm still going to be using my copper pickaxe for a few things. So I'm not gonna upgrade that just yet. Um, I'll probably upgrade that one on the last day of summer. First, before we dig into all of that, Let's check on our mushrooms, go pick up some chickens, mm, and oh, say hi to dog meat. Hi, dog meat. Good boy. Yep, there's our coop. Ooh, some good mushrooms and a morel. Fantastic. I don't know if we have that one already. Oh, there's some wood too. Probably take that with me. It doesn't need to be in here. Well, before I go down and pick up my chickens, I might as well drop off some stuff off at the community center and maybe some stuff off to uh, Gunther at the museum, clean up some box space. And then we'll pick up our ax, get a little bit of extra wood so that I can build a tapper for that tree by the end of today. Definitely don't have enough. Mm, what else? Oh yeah, it's very full in here. Now, I could have just waited until I had some syrups and resins grown for the exotic foraging bundle instead of buying the cactus and coconut, as it was pointed out to me, but eh, sometimes I like to just <laughs> get a head start on certain things and it's gonna be a while until those are ready. Plus I have other things that I would like to use maple syrup and different things for too. Oh, and it looks like we didn't get a bolt of cloth from that soggy newspaper, so we'll have to just try again. I am gonna grab that Moro mushroom for the last item that we need for our exotic foraging bundle, because I'm gonna be saving the purple mushroom for the other bundle it's needed for. And we are off to go pick up our first animals, two chickens. Good morning, Miss Marnie, how's it going? I would like um, one chicken, please. Actually, two. First one, what are we gonna get? We need to get one of each color. Oh, this one is a white chicken. Perfect. 
So I do have a Patreon. So for that, I'm going to be naming my animals after the wonderful people that are supporting me over there right now. My first ever Patreon, its name was Patrick. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you don't mind me naming my chicken after you. And this is a good way for me to share my love, I suppose. Great. Little Patrick is on her way to her home right now. And our next chicken. White. Nope. Gotta start again. <laughs> yes. Perfect. A brown chicken. And we are going to name this one, not Wungus, Brenna. Thank you very much. I'm looking at getting uh, memberships over on my channel sometime soon. I don't think I need anything else from Marnie right now until I get some cows. All right, let's head on into town, drop some stuff off. Ooh, anything in the trash? Nope, and nope. Got Penny hanging out over here. And I was told it's a good idea to keep an eye on the daily saloon specials too, because, um, Sometimes you can find some stuff that's really helpful. But it's a little too early for that right now. Oh, that newspaper is going to be a little bit more helpful than trash. Oh, cookies. No. Uh... Oh, I'll just drop it. Then we'll eat the cookies. Oops. And then I'll have space for everything. Eventually, <laughs> I'll upgrade my backpack. But for now, this is working. All right, let's check the calendar real quick. Oh, Pierre's birthday is tomorrow. We should be sure to bring him something nice. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a flounder. Um, I don't think I'm going to be fishing today. Yes, I should just be talking to people as they walk by because that helps you with your friendship as much as I don't really want to. Hey, Elliot. You with your fancy hair. All right, let's go donate some stuff. Wish I could be friends with Gunther. And of course it. Quick trash check. I don't know if you can get a second trash can hat. Probably not. Ooh, I should definitely do some reorganizing here pretty soon, but not yet. Maybe when it's a little bit more filled out. Goodbye, Diamond. I miss you already. Fire quartz and a jade. Got some rewards. Fantastic. What are we gonna get? Nope. This. Oh, standing geode and the sign. I love the standing geode. I know it doesn't really do anything, but it's really pretty. I wish I had one of these in my real life. It would be expensive, though. All right. We have space for it. Got our steel axe. Yay! So now we have access to the secret woods. Fantastic. E Clint. Um, let's drop some stuff off at the community center and then we'll hit the mines probably for the rest of the day. Most of this stuff I got is for the exotic foraging bundle and the bulletin board. Pomegranate for this. There we go. Need a few more things. We'll be fine.
and coconut, cactus, morel mushroom. Not the purple. And we got Autumn's Bounty. Awesome. It'll be helpful further down in the mines if I don't get anything that's defense boosting. Got some fish to drop off too. Specialty fish. Oh, we can catch the wood skip now that we have access to the mines. Or not the mines, the secret woods. And then I gotta catch a puffer fish. They're always pretty tricky. I think that's a summer fish. Walleye is fall. Bream is nighttime. Hmm. Fall time for that one. Most of those are summer. Oh yeah, I'm not ready to catch a sturgeon yet. Well, we can get a wood skip here. Pretty easily. And pomegranate for that. Purple mushroom for the field research. Oh, I left my frozen geode at home. Oops. And my... Oh, no, I have my chub here. There we go. Looks like everything. We should grab that aquamarine too. Eh, later. And, well, two o'clock. Not too bad. Just gonna do some mining and leveling for the rest of the day. And currently we need uh, <laughs> everything. So uh, we'll start with some copper bars because that's what I have the most of right now. And then head on down and start gathering some more stuff. The gold bars take the longest, so we'll just start with copper since I can rotate it out a little bit more. Now that I've hit the gold levels, I'm not in a huge rush to get to the bottom of the mines. Because it's gonna be a little bit until I can get to skull or to the desert anyway, so I'm not really pressed for getting what we get at the bottom of the mines just yet. So even though the shadow brutes are pretty rough to deal with, I love taking them out because they can drop like copper bars and iron bars and things like that. Just things that make it a little bit easier. So the loot is worth it. Oh, and a strange bun. Okay, spirally levels. They are great levels to hit up, but not when you're pressed for time. I'll be okay. A lot of crates in this one. My inventory is full though. I want everything. We'll have to leave some stuff behind. All right, it's level 100. Now the thing about this is I know exactly what is in that chest right there. Let's pause real quick. So, Inside of there is our star drop. It's gonna be the first one, but it's already 1230 right now. It's pretty late and it's going to give us full energy and all of that good stuff, uh, full health and everything. So it's really not wise to get it this late at night. I'm gonna save it for a time that we hit the mines later and need it. Just trying to be smart. Okay, before we head on out, we're gonna smelt a few things, put some stuff away. Actually, I'm going to be needing to keep the obsidian edge with us for when we start hitting the secret woods because there's slimes there. And uh, everything else looks pretty good. Hmm, might just leave this autumn's bounty here. Because of the plus two defense, that one's a little bit more helpful to me right now than plus to foraging. All right, off to the farm. Hmm. 
I mm, think I'm going to keep most of this stuff. Maybe sell one emerald, save the other for a gift. You know, I, I didn't end up gathering enough wood to make that tapper. I was going to, but eh, we'll do it tomorrow. Good night, dog meat. I'll do a little bit of light decorating. Oh, gotta get this painting up on the wall. Perfect. And it's off to bed for me. With no level ups, it's fine. Make quite a bit of money from farming. Fantastic. On to the next day. It's the 26th day of spring. It's a Friday, which is fantastic, which means we'll have the traveling merchant today. Weather for tomorrow is uh, breezy. Okay, it's fine. And our fortune is good humor. Nice. Gonna be a good day. Oh, we have a lot of things to harvest, a lot of parsnips. Oh, I forgot to put a tapper on that tree. And we'll do that today. Should probably plant more seeds of each of those two. Hmm. Yes. So that's not going to be enough. By the look of it, I can make um 16 sprinklers. Okay, that's not too bad. Would like to have about 20. Mm, I don't have access to tree fertilizer just yet for those trees, but we'll plant a few more anyways. And I definitely don't have enough wood to make some tappers, so we're going to have to do some lumberjacking today too. Oh, and great news, we recycled that soggy newspaper into a bolt of cloth. We will need that for the ooh, uh, artisan bundle. Yes, the artisan bundle. That's gonna save us from having to get wool right away for that. I need to hmm, probably just pop down one more tree so we can make a tapper, but we'll pop some seeds down in here real quick. And when I do finally get tree fertilizer, Forget which uh, level that's at. Foraging level seven, I believe. Yeah, that's right. When that happens, then I'll probably just be planting a whole ton of trees to keep um, a good source of wood going. Because you can never have too much wood in this game. Mm, let's get these parsnips harvested. Oh, and coffee beans, yay. We'll plant those extra ones too. Then we'll get on with the rest of the day. We only need to water 20 strawberry plants because these are the only ones that are gonna give us one more harvest. I'm gonna go ahead and make these sprinklers, but I'm probably gonna save them until a little bit later uh, when I decide on what I wanna do with the layout of my field. These coffee beans. So we'll save those seeds too. Put the bolt of cloth in here. Oh, and it's Pierre's birthday today. So since it's a birthday, I'm gonna be wandering around town, give him a gift and probably gift a couple of other people some things too. I need to make that tapper, so I'm going to need just a little bit more wood. Yeah. I'd like to make a mayo machine here too, soon, too, once we start getting some eggs anyways. Oh, we'll get on that. And tap that tree be perfect for some maple here soon. Yay! Love maple syrup. It is gonna take like uh, seven to eight days for our first batch to come in though. It takes quite a bit. Ah, so much to do today. Gotta check on our chickens. Oh right, eh, we do have access to the secret woods so I'm gonna grab my fishing pole. Maybe we can catch ourselves a happy little wood skip. 
They're easy enough to catch. Good morning, dog meat. And let's say hello to our brand new chickens. We have Patrick here. Good morning. And Brenna. Good morning to you. Get you a little bit of hay. They'll be producing eggs for me soon, soon enough. So with the Four Corners map, there is this little path right here. It was pointed out by one of my viewers, just in case anyone needed to know about it. It's very helpful to get from one side to the other. All right, we're gonna pop over and see if our traveling merchant has anything fun for us. She looks like Caroline's long lost sister. All right, pretty lady, what you got? Hmm, beets, perfect. Um, you can't actually buy those seeds until you hit the desert. So we'll be able to hopefully uh, find a seed maker and turn those into seeds for the fall time. Oh, and red cabbage seeds. Now that is awesome. One of the biggest holdups for being able to finish the community center on, um, in the first year is red cabbage because you can't buy them until the second year. So we're going to plant that in the summer too. Fried egg. Oh, I don't know if I need that just yet. We need it for um, the chef bundle, but it's really easy to make. I just need to get a kitchen. Need anything else? I think I'll be okay. We'll pass on the cooked food right now. Just gonna do a, a little choppa choppa. Poof, off to the secret woods. Yay! Now being that hardwood can be kind of hard to come by. I usually try and make a point to come here every day. Well, not every day, at least a couple of times a week. Just so I can start hoarding all the hardwood I can for the different upgrades that I need, especially for uh, house upgrades. Got some more mushrooms, which are actually native to the area of the US that I live in. We don't need them for any bundles because we already had that one from our mushroom cave, but definitely be saving them up for the, um, what are they called? The life elixirs, yes. All right, let's pop a line in and see if we can get that wood skip. Oh yeah. There we go, a perfect wood skip. I'll catch one more too if I can. I like to have one saved and one for the community center. I like to keep one in my inventory too, just for um, the fish pond if I feel like I wanna do something with that. Hmm, nah, I think I'm okay. Got a perfect wood skip, not iridium quality. Just gold, that's fine. Get the rest of this hardwood here real quick. And then we gotta hustle back to town. It's Friday, so everyone's probably gonna be chilling around town a little bit. Pierre's shop isn't closed until five, so we'll be able to pop in there and give him his birthday gift. And any gifts that I can see along the way. What's on the bulletin board? Ghosts? Eh, maybe. We might run into them in the mines. Hello, Pierre. How's it going? Their selection is essentially the same as yours. That's for you. Happy birthday. Nothing I want to spend my money on just yet. Uh, we'll get that apple sapling um, sometime in summer. As long as it's before the fall time, I'd like to have at least a few apples. 
Oh, it's almost the end of spring, so I'm gonna stock up on a couple of the seeds that I don't have plants for so that when we do have a greenhouse, which is gonna be hopefully before winter this year, I'll be able to plant a few things. And some flower seed packets are helpful for making the tub of flower recipe that we bought from the, oh, the flower dance? One of the festivals anyways. Howdy Pam! Hobby? Drinking is not a hobby. Here, take this parsnip. Uh, how's it going, Alex? Thanks. You're welcome. Got Leah here. What are we gonna give to you? A parsnip? You're welcome. And I am such a nice person. <laughs> oh, Robin's here too. Thanks, she likes parsnips. Demetrius. You're welcome. I don't have anything good for you, Shane. Your tastes are very expensive. Maybe we'll pop in and buy a beer for you. Oh, Jody. Take a flower. Oh. Ooh. I forgot she hates those. Sorry. Sorry, Jody. I'm the worst. It's okay, I will make it up to you uh, another time. Maybe I'll find a diamond to give to you, okay? Shouldn't be so picky. Gifts are gifts. Well, we have Pam at three hearts with us at least, so that's good. She's pretty easy since she loves parsnips. Give Shane a beer. I've got a little extra gold. I really love having the loved gifts. I really wish it would have marked that she hated the um, flower that I gave her though. Well, yes, Elliot, I grew that just for you. Oh, uh, Willie, he's always so tricky to gift to. Uh, parsnip will have to do. Caroline, parsnip for you. Yes, I'm so sure. Got Marnie here. Man, I'm giving out gifts like Oprah today. Take this. No, wait. Don't leave me. Hopefully, Lewis didn't mind that too much. Oh, the youngins are over there today, too. We got Gus and Emily. Oh, what is the meal of the day? Pepper poppers. She didn't give us that already. Oh, beer. Beer for Shane. Here you go. This one's on me. I know it's your favorite. Because I know you. <laughs> One else has been gifted, apart from Gus, Emily. We have Amethyst and Topaz. We'll give Emily a Topaz. The loves those. And Gus, you get a parsnip. Yes, I'm very sure. Okay. Oh. How many gifts do I have to give you, Emily, before you love me? Oh, yeah, I got quite a few people who don't even care one way or the other about me. It's okay, we'll get there. Lewis! And who am I missing? We got Sam, Abigail, and Sebastian. Oh, I forget if he likes vegetables or not. Uh, let's try a mm, daffodil. Okay. Guess he didn't really care about it one way or the other. Sebastian! Oh, I don't have anything good for you. Here, take this. 
You're welcome. And Abigail, we're going to give you this amethyst. Awesome. That's enough gifts for today, I think. Most friendly with Shane. Finally got that four hearts a couple days after the festival, so no dancing with him. Yep, I got a lot of work to do. Who else is out tonight? Oh, Clint is over here. I have something just for you, Clint. Topaz. Two hearts with him. Hi. That's not bad. We'll just keep chatting at him every time we pop by the shop. enough for today. I think I'm gonna head on back to the old homestead and do some cleanup around the farm. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna pop up uh, up to the mines for just a little bit, see if we can get some bars going. I do also have my Autumn's Bounty up there too, which is gonna be helpful for um, foraging. Makes it take a little less energy to chop down trees and stuff. I don't know if I'll use that today. It is kind of late in the day. Maybe I'll use it tomorrow, but in any case, I'll bring some with me. We'll get some gold bars in too. Time to do some chop, chop, chopping, chopping down the trees. Eating some spring onions and salmon berries. You can make a little ditty like that. It's off to bed for me. Oh, my jellies are ready. Oh, I can't get to it. Dog meat's in the way. I guess I could have just moved the TV. Ah, that's okay. We'll worry about it tomorrow. Oh, level up in farming. I can make a loom now. Fantastic. And retaining soil. Oh, that's nice. Level up in fishing. Can make some trap bobbers. Yeah. That's my favorite one. And just a little bit of money, nothing too crazy. Twenty-seventh day, and only a couple days of the season left. Ooh. Oh, well, let me grab these jellies. First one of these is going into our bundle. Weather tomorrow. Oh, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Nice. On the last day, too. Fortune teller says, mildly perturbed. Eh, that was fine. Uh, let's grab something to start making some more jelly or pickles. Oh, what's this? Emily, that's right. We got our first bolt of cloth yesterday. So we've got a brand new cutscene. Good morning, Emily. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. Oh, thanks. Put a lot of work into this. So you've been here a while. Yeah, about a month. Did you know that you can use cloth to tailor all kinds of things? Actually, <laughs> I do. I've made a tailoring video, link down in the description, <laughs> if you need help with it. Start to start tailoring, you'll need a piece of cloth and a secondary item. Can definitely experiment with a lot of fun stuff. Eventually, I can make that witch hat that I want. Oh, Shane sent us another pepper poppers. Thank you, Shane. That's going to be so helpful. 
one of my favorite dishes. Anything that boosts speed is <laughs> definitely loved by me. I pop this one salmon berry in the box. Gotta grab some stuff to pop into the preserve jars, make some strawberry jelly. Um, actually, I'm gonna start working through the cauliflower, make some pickles. Or make another preserves jar? Maybe. Hmm, we'll at least sell this. Pop these in and go from there. I absolutely love pickled things. I make so many pickled things at my own house. Oh, and I'd like to upgrade the coop here soon so we can get that dinosaur egg into the incubator. Don't really have a lot of things to water. Most of all the plants aren't gonna give us anything else this season apart from the coffee beans and those extra 20 strawberries for tomorrow. So that's all we're gonna water. It is Saturday the 27th. Emily already came to visit us, but it is actually her birthday today. So it's really important for me to get a gift to her. Gotta check on our chickens and make sure that they're doing okay. And also being that it is Saturday, it's the perfect day to go foraging at the beach to see what kind of shells we can find and anything like that. And then I'll probably just do a little bit cleaning up around the farm and just get us completely ready for tomorrow and the next day. I'm all out of topaz, so Amethyst will have to do for our gift for Emily today. She loves it just as much, so it's fine. Oh, what's on the bulletin board? Evelyn wants a quartz or find quartz. I might get around to that. Maybe. I doubt it. I haven't been so good at dropping stuff off for the bulletin board lately. Hmm. Really should. It's good for boosting your relationships. All right, let's go and check on our gal. Try to check this last trash. Another soggy newspaper. Nice. Ooh, what do we have here? An argument? Ugh, I always clean under the cushions. Oh, yep. They're having at it. Don't worry, Wickedy's here to problem solve everything for you. <laughs> New girl from the farm. That's me. Yes, I do. Farm girl trash can hat. <laughs> Um, sure, Haley, sure. What's your point of view? Haley is complaining because she has to clean under the cushions. It's only because I cleaned them last, what, week? Uh, Haley? Why don't you have this as your one weekly job? If you move on to my farm, you're gonna have to do something every day. <laughs> Better get used to it. You're welcome, Emily. I'm a great problem solver. All right, can I can go into Haley's room. Uh, I don't know if I can go into Emily's room yet. Darn it. No, it's your birthday. Come out. She come out probably a little bit later. She worked today. Oh, I don't know. Hey, Haley. Oh, I don't have anything I want to give to you. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just have to go find something to do real quick until uh, Emily decides to grace us with her presence. Then, Penny. Hi, Penny. Very small town. Yes, that is correct. I guess, um... Yeah, we have time. We'll just go do some foraging around the beach. Oop. Oh, got some wriggleworms. Seagulls! Always a lot of goodies over on the tide pools. Oh, not as much on the beach as I was expecting. Hmm. Well, we 
least we got a few things. Those will be good for a little extra money. Alright, Emily, are you gonna come out and play yet? Bastion's here. Oh, Sam. Very involved. Oh, looks like she is finally making her way out of the room. Hey, Emily. Not easy to get cloth. Oh, I should have brought you some cloth. Oh, well, Amethyst it is. Happy birthday. And we are at four hearts with her. Fantastic. Her and Shane. Top of the list for you two. Let them fight it out for my affection later. <laughs> Okay, I already know that I'm not planning on doing any mining for the most of today or tomorrow. So I'm going to see if I can scrounge up enough money. We need 5,000 gold and five iron bars in order to upgrade my pickaxe to the steel axe. So I'll pop up to the mines for a little bit, gather a little bit of iron ore, uh, sell a couple of things around just so I can get to the money that I need. Oh yeah, it takes a little bit longer to make iron bars than I have until Clint opens up. So I think I'm actually going to transmute some copper bars into the last iron bar that I need. Yeah. And mm, sell these fruits off to Pierre. And these extra gems off to Clint and that should be just enough. Perfect. Won't need to sell those extra furs and tears after all. All right, Clint, please um, upgrade my tool to a steel pickaxe and we'll pick that up right around the first of summer. Hooray. I already checked that. Back to the farm because we can't go mining today anymore. And the rest of the day is just going to be some foraging, specifically chopping down trees as many as I can, getting some extra hay, things like that. Getting ready for tomorrow and the next day. And I haven't really decided what I want to do with this corner of the farm just yet. Probably just keep it rotating, growing more trees. Uh, maybe a little decorative stuff and extra crops. Yeah, probably extra crops for when we expand later in the future. Alright, I've gathered over 500 wood today. It's fantastic. Is there anything I want to craft before bed? Hmm. Eh, I think I'm okay. At least for now. I'll have to grab a couple of more things. I'm gonna have a lot of options with all this extra wood tomorrow. So that's what's the most important. Is that we stock up for the things that we do need. And I'm just going to sell these extra few spring forgeables because I don't really see myself making any more seed packets. Save the leeks though. Those are for George. Someday. Then I decide to gift him a bunch of stuff. And I think it is off to bed for me. Oh, dog meat's on the bed with us tonight. Yay. Good night, dog meat. In sweet dreams. Good night to all of you. Dream of level ups. And nope. But we did make a little bit of extra money, so that's great. 
Salmon berry jelly, not so much. Parsnips, a little bit more. Good forageable stuff. And yeah, that's about it. And with this, we are on to the very last day of spring. Last day of the season and it is raining. <laughs> Which is always good and helpful. Not that we needed to water anything anyways, but I don't know. I just love the rain. It's going to be sunny all day tomorrow, which makes sense. It's the first day of summer. And our luck is... Ooh, good humor today. Maybe we should go fishing. Get some um, treasure chests. Yeah, that sounds good. And it is Sunday, so we're going to have the traveling merchant today, too. Omelette is our recipe for when we eventually get that kitchen. Good morning, dog meat. And the last batch of... Oh, some coffee beans. Some strawberries are here for us, too, because we did use that speed grow. Hmm, I wonder if I'll have enough money for seeds tomorrow. For as many as I want. I might have to scrounge up a little things here and there. Maybe sell some of these strawberries instead of turning them into uh, jams and jellies. It's okay. Summertime is going to be a lot more profitable than spring anyways. I'm not that worried about it. Make some bait for fishing. Oh, we do have our chickens, so I'm going to be checking on them. I believe we should have some eggs by now. Eh, maybe. I'll check the mail real quick. Ooh, a new rod. Oh, we're at level six of fishing, so the iridium rod is ready. Oh, but it is 7,500 gold. It's very expensive, but it's kind of worth it. Hmm, salad. Let me see real quick. Only level six of fishing. Well, I should probably plant my coffee beans today. Yeah, and I want to make a couple of mayonnaise machines. I think uh, only two. Especially now that I only have two chickens right now. Mm, chanterelle, bunch of common mushrooms. I'm happy having these common mushrooms for when we finally run out of those salmon berries. Pop these morels in here. Now I just need some purple mushrooms to make some life elixirs. Mm, I'll do some rearranging eventually. Maybe get a chest in the coop. Yay! And we do have our first eggs. Hi, Brenna. And good morning, Patrick. Not large ones just yet, but they'll get there probably eh, sometime in the summertime. Alright, it's off to find out what the traveling merchant has in store for us today, Sunday, 8 a.m. We're doing great on time. Not that I'm in a rush to do anything other than fish today. Hmm. What do you think her name is? Wish I could date her. Hmm, sandfish. I already have that fish. I think we only need the puffer fish for the special fish. Artichoke seed, I think I'll pass. Oh! Oh! Pufferfish, fish, wait, hold up. Specialty fish, I have a wood skip in my box already. And with this puffer fish. Oh. Oh, okay, I have a crazy idea. We can get the reward that adds three to fishing. I'm level six now. Maybe if we sell some of the strawberries that we have, we can scrounge up enough money for the iridium rod. And if we can do that, make some lures. Still going to wait on that. Make some lures. Then, um... Level up to level 7 in fishing. Eat the dish of the sea. Then we might... It's the last day of spring. <laughs> we might be able to... 
catch the legend fish in the first spring, which I've never done. It would be awesome if we could. Let's, let's see what I can scrounge up. But first, I gotta grab some stuff to make these lures. These iron bars. I think it's copper. Oh, okay, it's not. I thought it was iron. All right, I'm going to make just three of these. Because the legend is a very tricky fish. I don't think you can stack those ones. Um, hmm, what can I sell? Probably some strawberries. I don't want to sell my strawberries, but we'll take half of these. I wonder if that's going to be enough. Usually I would just save my strawberries for making jellies or wine or like if I'm really in a pinch for money. Yeah, I'm thinking that should be a little over 5,000 gold right there with the little bit that I have, we should be fine. And ooh, 7,500 gold for the rod. Honestly, I think I'll be able to make it all back that's the goal anyways. All right, <laughs> let's grab our wood skip. Hope this works. I'll drop these off to P Air Shack or store, whatever. Oh, a couple more things to sell. And then we'll just pop over to the ocean and fish there since there's some pretty easy fish. It'll be easier to get perfect catches and level up faster. Oh, goodbye strawberries. <laughs> It was nice having you around. Oh, yes. That's 5,000. Perfect. More than enough. I'll sell these anyways. And then after all of that, we're going to go straight down to Willie's shack and start. Oh, first buy that rod and then start fishing. It'll be worth it, I hope. <laughs> Put this on here. Let's take our bait off. And I don't need my bamboo pole anymore or my fiberglass one. Bye. I don't think you can sell it anyways. And it's not going to leave us a whole lot of time for leveling up right now. So just got to push through it and then we'll pop up a little bit later up to the so oh bubbles the lake so that we can do um some fishing around where the legend is now normally mean that it's raining i would try to uh catch some more catch <laughs> some catfish but they are tricky buggers to catch so even though experience gained for catching, say, a golden catfish is a little bit more than catching a perfect sardine or anchovy, which only give you 25 experience points versus 30 something. Um, I th still think it's easier to level up in the ocean because you're not dealing with as many tricky buggers out here. So I'm going to need to catch probably about uh, 60 fish or so in order to get to level seven. If we get to level seven, we can try to get the dish of the sea, which will put us up to level 10. And that'll leave us open to be able to catch the legend. So crazy, it just might work. And my tackle is all worn out. I'm gonna sell all these extra fish to Willy, still level six, and then see where we're at. I'm gonna do some math here. Hmm, after all of those fish and those two treasure chests, that's put us up about 500 experience points. Eh, that's okay. I got this.
So before the 1.4 update, I would normally be leveling up at the mountain lake because of the uh, largemouth bass. But now the flounder in the ocean actually are around about the same time and give the same experience points. So it's definitely worth uh, hanging out here. Plus these eels on a rainy day are very helpful too. They give you quite a bit of experience points. And I find them a lot easier to catch than the catfish. All right, I'm gonna mosey on up. It's already after seven. I did overexert myself. So ooh, hopefully I do get that level up so that I have a full day and uh, don't have to worry about being too sluggish tomorrow. I'm gonna drop off the um, wood skip and the puffer fish that I have in the community center so we can get that dish of the sea and then I'll pop those on probably to make my fishing and leveling it up a little bit easier. Not that the fish up at the mountain lake are all that difficult. All right, puffer fish, wood skip, and we have dish of the sea, five of them. Don't need that. All right, have a few hours left to the day. And Oh, we actually did hit level seven of fishing. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. It must've been that last eel that I picked up. That is awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna pop on this dish as soon as we settle in and try for the legend. Uh, all right, let me see if I can do this. And if I do, it'll definitely be a first for me. I've never caught all of the legendary fish in the first year. It, yeah, that's not it. All right, I got him hooked. <laughs> now let's see if I can actually catch him. Uh, stay still is what the trapper bobber is super helpful for because he sure does like to jump around and it keeps your green bar from going too far down oh yes i did it oh my gosh i can't believe i actually got the legend that's amazing oh this is a huge big deal for me oh man that blows my mind and on the last day of the first spring, too. Only 930? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. All right. Calm down now. <laughs> first bite in everything. Mm, what am I going to do now? It's going to be hard to top that. He is also worth so much money. It's worth almost 10,000 gold. Especially being that I have a gold star legend. Uh, there's no way I'm selling him. Hmm. Guess I'll do a little bit of chores. Very anticlimactic, uh, fire smelting here. <laughs> and save those for tomorrow. And what else? Nice. I got a diamond from a treasure chest earlier. I'll sell all these extra fish so we have some money. Oh, definitely going to need some money for some seats tomorrow. But I'm not selling the legend, that's for sure. Um, head to the bus stop. And even though I'm overexerted right now and exhausted, it's okay because we leveled up. And I'm going to wake up with a lot of energy tomorrow. Maybe, yeah, actually, I'm going to grab this dino egg and put the legend up here for now. Just so I can take a peek at it every day. Yes. Dino egg, you've had your moment. And here pretty soon, I'll just put you in the incubator and we'll get some dinosaurs going. Put you right in here, I think, but I'm not gonna donate that one, absolutely not. Hmm. All right. Now, before I do anything else, I want to set up a little bit of um, what's going to be going on on my farm layout tomorrow. 
and um, we'll get that set up today since I have some sprinklers and things like that. I don't have my pickaxe to be able to um, clear up these hoed spots to put the flooring piece down underneath the sprinklers that I want them at. But we'll do that tomorrow when I do get it back. Get these coffee beans in the ground and make some more sprinklers. Actually, I want to, I think I want to have 20, but I'll start collecting some more bars later. This is going to be a great start for the first of summer. Uh, drop this mayonnaise off. Sell a couple of things. Honestly, I like to have about uh, 10,000 gold. Roughly that for the beginning of a new season. So I might have to look into selling some of my extra goodies and bits like that tomorrow. See what I can dump in the box tonight. Oh, uh, I'm probably going to have to sell all of my strawberries, aren't I? I'm going to be using these pepper poppers on the first day of summer. Absolutely. It'll help us move a lot faster and um, also help us with our watering and our hoeing too. Ah, uh, the legend. <laughs> Watch it over me as I sleep. Hopefully it doesn't stink up the house too much. And we got level seven of fishing. Yay. Fantastic. Man, that was awesome. What a great day. It was a bummer I had to sell so many strawberries to get there. An extra 3,000 gold's not bad. But honestly, catching the legend was totally worth it to me. And with that, the spring season is over. Whew. Tomorrow is going to be a very long day. We're going to have so much I have to do. But in any case, I really hope you've been enjoying the series so far. I know I have. I know sometimes it seems like I'm all over the place with what I'm doing. <laughs> Stardew can do that to you sometimes. Now that I have my sprinklers and some basic setup, tomorrow is going to be a very interesting day. Anyways, I'm trying to work on becoming more socially media active. <laughs> so I throw a link to all of my social media down below in the description if you want to check it out. Thanks for following along with the series. I'm working on a Wickedy's Tips video here soon, so keep an eye out for that too. I'm Wickedy, thanks for hanging out in the valley with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>